Hi friends, I'm super excited today to announce that we have a new teacher joining our team, Nikhar Malu. He did his integrated masters from IIT Kharagpur and he has worked at Schlumberger for about three years. Now Nikhar is following his passion of teaching. So please join me in welcoming him to the Manocha Academy family. Hi friends. So are you excited to be here? I'm super excited to be following my passion. And he's going to be the science genie and showing you some very interesting magic with some special Diwali lamps. So over to you, Nikhar. Hi friends. What do you use to light a Diwali lamp or Diya? Oil, right? But I'm not going to be using oil today. I'm going to try something crazy and use water to light up these Diyas. Wow! Isn't that magical? It worked with water. Now, let me do something even more crazy. I'll be using some day-to-day -day things and try to find out if these diyas are lighting up or not. First, I'm going to use this coin. Wow, it is lighting up with this coin. Next, I'm going to use this eraser. Oh, it's not lighting up with the eraser. Next, I'm going to use this plastic. It's not lighting up with the plastic even. Finally, I'll use my finger. Oh, it's lighting up with my finger. Interesting. Magic, right? But let me tell you, nothing is magic. Everything is pure science. This magic dia is also based on simple science. As you can see, it has a LED bulb on top. I will break open this dia for you. If you look closely, it has these tiny cells and the circuit ends here with the two terminals on top. The circuit connecting the two terminals is incomplete and as soon as you complete the circuit, the dia lights up. Simple, right? So now let's use this magic dia to find out which out of the following day-to-day -day things are good and bad conductors of electricity. First, I'm going to try with a brass hook. Next, I'm going to use this metal coin. Finally, I'm going to use my finger. As you can see, all these diyas light up. Why do these light up? Because these are all good conductors of electricity. Metals like this coin and hook are good conductors of electricity due to the presence of free electrons. Human body also conducts electricity, which is why we should not touch switches with wet hands. Now let's try some of the bad conductors. First, I will use this eraser, which is made of rubber. It is not conducting electricity. Next, I will put this plastic. It is also not conducting electricity. And finally, I will put this piece of wood, which is also not conducting electricity. So. As you can see, all the three diyas are not lighting up because all the three materials, rubber, plastic and wood are bad conductors of electricity. Do you know the reason for this? Yes, it is because they do not have free electrons in them. Now, I will use water to light up this diya. Wait a second, how is water lighting up this diya? We know that pure water is a bad conductor of electricity. But wait, I used tap water here. Tap water contains salts. The salts dissociate to produce ions and this allows it to conduct electricity. Now, let's try the two allotropes of carbon, graphite and diamond. As we can see, graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Now, let's put diamond. As you can see, it is not conducting electricity. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity because it has one free valence electron per carbon atom. In diamond, all the four valence electrons are used in bonding with carbon atoms. So there are no free electrons, which is why diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. Now you know the concept of good and bad conductors of electricity with this magic experiment. Friends, hope you like Nikar's magic. So don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? 
प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन राइट ना एंड डू शेयर इट आउट विद योर फ्रेंड्स हिज विशिंग यू एंड योर फैमिली वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली